recruiting uh, what we call uh, high achieving students at area high schools in the region and improving our ability for Thomas Moore to recruit these students and bring them here to go to school. And uh, the reason why I call it the faculty ambassadorial program is because basically Thomas Moore's principal product is our faculty. That's really what we're selling here, what faculty uh, bring to students. So to begin our presentation, again, I'd like to thank everybody for the innovation program. Uh, tell you that uh, we're really happy to have been able to work on this a little bit. And in particular, I want to thank Chris Powers for his assistance with the admissions office. We're, we're very much on, online with this idea that we've developed. So real fast, we're going to the concept. Uh, we basically want to interact with faculty and students at regional high schools as a way to introduce them to Thomas More, what Thomas More is about, our academic mission, and our program, and to develop personal relationships with the faculty and the student through our faculty, which are our ambassadors. And in so doing, we hope to increase the academic quality of students applying to Thomas More and subsequently attending Thomas More. And we want to showcase the enthusiasm, the knowledge, and the energy of our faculty at these schools through the personal interaction with the students. And we think this personal interaction with the students and the faculty will develop a, a more close relationship between Thomas More and these high schools. So the plan basically is to target, uh, and Amy and I have already started to schedule some of these meetings. So the plan is that we're going to target uh, parochial schools in northern Kentucky for these visits. And Amy and I are going to, over the course of the fall semester, go to these high schools uh, where we have been asked by the faculty to give a presentation. And we'll interact with students at the high schools. We will not serve for a visit. We will basically give a 30-minute uh, lecture on some topic that we're comfortable with that we think is relevant to the classroom. And we'll give each one of these uh, high school faculty members options for them to choose that fit in with their, the issues or the subject that they're already teaching. And in addition to that, we'll also provide a brief introduction to the, to the students about our research interests, who we are, and why we're there that day, and allow them some time to interact with us, and then hopefully have somebody from the admissions office interact with the students too to tell them a little bit about Thomas More. So we're trying to just do this within one classroom time period, and, and that's a lot to try to develop something in a fairly short period of time, but everyone has their schedule, and we thought this was a good way for us to kind of leverage ourselves into a regular high school academic schedule. Okay, so the implementation of this project is going to continue into the fall term. We have made um, the initial contacts with the parochial schools in Northern Kentucky. I sent out, we sent out an email explaining the program to all of the high school principals as well as guidance counselors. We heard back immediately from a couple of schools. We then followed up with a hard copy letter, heard back from a couple more schools. We're still waiting to hear from about half of the schools, but admissions is going to help us to make some contacts, maybe with some of the other people that handle high school visits within these schools so that we can go ahead and try to get visits set up with all nine of them. The schools that did reach out to us were very eager. They provided the names of some of the classes and faculty that our program would be best suited for. Since JT is political science and geography, I'm criminal justice. We are essentially looking for classes where we can offer something in the way of an expert lecture on a topic that would be relevant to these classes. And so we were, admissions, like I said, is also gonna provide us with some additional names. And then we are identifying the faculty teaching, preferably AP or honors classes, because we are looking for the very best students at these schools and classes that would be suited to what we're currently teaching here at Thomas More. And so the lecture topics, JT developed those. He spent the summer developing some PowerPoint presentations. The topics are meant to be very broad, 
They're also meant to be extremely timely in terms of current events to appeal to the broadest audience possible. And like I said, we're going to let the faculty choose which of the topics they would like us to present on. And so this is just kind of an overview of the political science lecture topics. I did the same thing with some criminal justice lecture topics. And so faculty have quite a few to actually pick from. The next step is to obviously schedule the site visits. And originally, we had hoped to do at least one class at the schools. But what we found with the schools that got back to us right away, they have multiple classes that they would like us to come and present in. So we may end up doing the same number of presentations just at a fewer number of schools. We did purchase promotional thumb drives with the Thomas More logo. And so we are going to preload these with some materials from admissions. We can load them with materials from the athletic program, as well as our lecture. And so the students will have something when they leave the day, at the end of the day, with Thomas More information on it. We also are going to include an evaluation piece where at the end of the lecture, we do just sort of a brief survey where students tell us if, we, if they have now developed a greater appreciation for Thomas More, do they have a better understanding of what a college lecture is going to be, and has this increased their interest in Thomas More as a potential college of choice. We will also be evaluating the program's impact from a quantitative perspective, looking to see if we get an increase in the number of applicants and students who are confirmed enrolled here from the parochial schools. Chris presented some information this morning that showed you how this year we did really good with the parochial schools, but he did mention that that was because of contacts made outside of the Northern Kentucky area. Last year we were down in terms of the number of students that we were drawing from our own Catholic high schools. And so we want to keep those numbers as high as possible. We are also interested in a qualitative piece to the evaluation, making sure that we are in fact improving the relationships with these Catholic schools, giving the faculty there a greater appreciation for what we do here at Thomas More so that they can help sell the program. So we really want to strengthen those partnerships that we have with the Catholic schools in the Northern Kentucky area. The next steps are essentially to recruit more faculty ambassadors. And what is very clear from the presentations that we've heard so far is that we have some amazing programs here on campus. We have some amazing faculty. We would like to go into the high schools and offer up our expertise on things like bourbon in a science and a math class, ethical leadership program, our field station, okay? All of these amazing programs that, as Jack said, we are in a highly competitive environment when it comes to attracting students. What better way to get the best students than to sell our greatest asset, which are our programs and our faculty. So we would like to increase or expand this program eventually where we have more faculty ambassadors. We would also like to identify additional courses at our key target schools, but then also expand the project to other schools in the Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky areas. And we welcome any questions or feedback, comments, if you would like to offer your suggestions as well. Students, so we're hoping that eventually we can expand this to reach out right. to a lot more. 
But yeah, Gemini program is a great way to do that as well. And the other one I was going to suggest is maybe the best artist student who went to the high school should target it. That's a great way to attract students to your talk or discussion or even the teachers that they want to know. You know, this is great came about in a conversation where we were talking about how can we personally take a, a role in attracting high quality students to our programs. What better way than for you to go out and actually recruit people into your own programs yourself and develop a relationship with the school where the faculty think of Thomas More the same way they think about recommending UK or U of L. You know, Thomas More has a reputation of being everybody's next uh, backyard school, and sometimes we aren't taken that seriously by some of the regional high school professors, and teachers, and students. What a better way to break that stereotype than to have us in the classroom and they go, wow, this person is personable, open, vital, imaginative, and they came here and did a really nice presentation. Maybe I ought to really think twice about Thomas More College. And so that out of the conversation that we had with other faculty, this idea grew. So thank you for letting us have the opportunity to grow, but it's only going to be successful if more faculty get involved. I mean, I can't, this can't just be the Thomas More College of Criminal Justice and Political Science. Just joking. <laughs>